What's up agents and welcome back to another division video. It's vendor reset day. It's the 9th of April 2024. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe and let's get straight into it. So there is a Langmore chest piece for sale if you need Langmore pieces. They were recently fixed in today's patch. Everything else though here is trash. Let's move on. We've got a couple of things at the clan vendor. There's an everyday carrier if you're doing Santa Hasbro armor regen build that will be okay. Umbra Initiative Knees, Cavalier Knees, and some hardwired gloves. There's a classic M1A with everything in the right place. Got damage target out of cover at the bottom, although it will take some optimization, meaning you can put whatever talent on you want. An electric mask already rolls status effects. This could be really nice. Put skill haste on it. Uh, there's some group or gloves with crit hit damage. Not sure why you would ever use the gloves though, but they're here if you need them. Uh, there's also some Badger tough gloves with crit hit damage. Maybe you're doing a crit chance, crit damage armor for gloves. And then there's an Alp set of gloves with skill haste. These could be pretty good. Again, though, I'm not sure why you would use the glove slots. There's better versions or better alternatives available. So let's just move on. Checking out the countdown vendor. There's a Carnage where you can, you know, it's pretty well rolled, actually. Pretty good to go. Uh, just a little bit of optimization. There's a Courier that is no good. And there's a Night Watcher that is no good. So let's just move on. Over at the theatre, there's a stage left that's rolled kind of perfect. So just optimise it and you are good to go. There's some Palisade knees for sale. I mean, they're not the greatest unless you're doing some kind of armour regen build, but great for pieces if you want to try and craft some god rolls. Not a lot going on down at the castle. There is a punch drunk, however, if you want to pick it up. There's an SVD that's rolled kind of perfect. Does need a little bit of optimization. You can change the talent to whatever you want. But if you want to use a GR9, with measured, you could change this crit damage off to perhaps crit chance or damage to armor, and this would be good also. Everything else garbage, so let's move on. Like Campus is looking pretty trash. Uh, there is a forge here though, uh, if you need one, but it has status effects on, so not the greatest if you want to reroll the core attributes. Everything else garbage, let's move on. DZ West is pretty trash. There's a baker's dozen if you really want one, but the other M1A would be certainly much better. Roy Sausage is here with Pummel. Pretty good pickup, actually. Just changed the critical hit chance. A bit of optimization. He's got some Rigger gloves and some Umbra knees. Everything else garbage. Let's move on. DZ East has got a Night Watcher if you want one, but it's got explosive resistance on, so not the greatest, but maybe if you're changing that, it'd be okay. Future Initiative Mask, Hunter's Fury Holster. There is a Grupo Holster here with pretty good rolls. Crit damage. It could be crit chance, crit damage. This would be good. Pick it up if you've not got one. Let's move on. All right, DC South has got a Dark Winter for the first time in a long time. Sadly, it's not as good as it used to be, but if you still want one, there's one here. Just change the critical hit damage. Everything else is pretty garbage. There's a True Patriot backpack, though, with weapon handling. Again, not the greatest. A weapon handling strikers piece, not the greatest either. There is a Wyvern backpack that comes with status specs pre-rolled if you want to use Energize, but it's pretty trash. So let's move on. Checking out what seems to be Cassie Mendoza's second shop in Haven. Everything here is garbage. There's maybe a little bit of a use case for this Empress International backpack that comes with Opportunistic. It's got skill damage already rolled on it, but everything else is garbage. So let's just move on. What's up, Bob? Who's a good boy? Looking for Roy to save us, but does he ever? No, he doesn't. He's got a military M60 with strained on. You could change the optimal range. Not terrible. He's got a Spaz 12 with damage target out of cover on. You could change the talent to whatever you want, but we are reaching here. Uh, there is some Overlord gloves with crit hit damage that we would never use. Uh, there is an Overlord mask with headshot damage on. Maybe you would use that, but it's pretty garbage. That's going to be it. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow for Trashy Mendoza. Bye-bye.